Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new ones. And just a reminder, I really appreciate y'all when y'all watch and subscribe to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a craft, sorry, something for a friend of mine that she really wanted. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below. You'll have seen everything needed for this project. You can also get that off the community tab. So let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what is needed for this project. All right. So you're going to need some fall floral. You don't need all this. This is just stuff I can pick through for this project. All right. You'll need zip ties. You don't necessarily need this, but she really liked this. So. This is a thankful sign I got from Dollar Tree. It came, it broke off of something, so it was in clearance. I'm gonna be using this truck that I also got from Dollar Tree. I am gonna be using this wheel frame, a uh, reframe that I got from, of course, Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna be using uh, paint. I forgot to put this, but you do not have to use this if you don't want to. I'm gonna use black paint. I'm going to be using red paint. This is Imperial from Folk Art. I'm going to be using white. This is Snow White from Waverly. And then I'm going to be using brown. This is another Waverly one. It's Truffle. So, and then I'll also be using a little bit of hot glue and um, uh, not this one, but a screwdriver. I couldn't think of what it was called. All right, y'all, let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to paint this truck. Now, you do not have to do it exactly how I'm doing it. This is a technique that I thought was pretty cool. But I'm also going to paint the back because I like to just make it look finished. If you see the back, it's not plain color. It, it's what you painted it. So that is the first thing we're going to do. And I'm going to paint it my truffle, my brown color. So if you don't have truffle, you just pick a brown color so what we're doing is a, we're gonna uh, I can't even talk now. what we're actually doing is we're gonna be taking the color and we're going to be making this truck look like it was cracking the paint so you're gonna want to from what I read or watched on YouTube you're gonna want to paint the original the first color you want to paint I'm sorry I cannot talk is you want to paint it darker but the wheels are gonna be black and this brown is not darker than black and that is fine because I want to paint this all one color and even if it doesn't do exactly what I'm trying to get it to do the whole thing doesn't have to be cracked you know it could just be pieces so Let's start. Now, I've tried this and it kind of worked, but I think the problem with it was the fact that I took on too much at once and the, it dried before I can get the second layer on, the, the glue dried, because you are going to want to use glue for the second layer. And I think it dried too fast for what I was doing, so... It didn't work 100%, but it did kind of work, so we're just going to go with this and go. Y'all, uh, I'm just having a hard time talking today, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this whole thing the brown, the front, back, the little metal pieces of the cutout, just to give it a finished look. I say that a lot. I like my finished looks, okay? <laughs> I like things to look finished. And I would tell y'all right now, if you do it this way, that makes any mistake you make look like it was supposed to be like that, okay? Because you got it looking finished, so it doesn't really look homemade as much. 
but at least in my opinion that's how I feel about it so we got our first layer on and we're gonna let it dry and then we'll paint the rest all right all right as you can see it's done it was literally drying as I was painting it so it does not take long to dry so we're gonna move on to the next step and for that we need some glue and I'm sorry y'all I'm gonna go ahead and get my black paint ready because like I said this goes by so fast so I want to be ready to do my I want to be able to go ahead and start painting my black when this dries and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this first because it really does dry super fast and you want it stick you want it tacky you don't want it completely dry you want it to be tacky not wet to the touch so it's getting there so then you're going to take the black and you're going to paint it for the wheel and you're going to want to do it in the same direction so that the cracks appear in the same direction So that one's done. Now I'm going to move on to the next wheel. And I'm going to paint it. And as it is drying, it should do the crack. as the black paint dries the next paint so oh and also from what I read on what I watched on the video they said that you can use wood glue or white glue Elmer's glue and they said the thicker the glue the bigger the cracks this was fine for me it didn't look too bad but if you want smaller cracks they said to water it down like I said, this didn't bother me. Get some of this off. Okay. going to do this for both tires with the black if you decide to do black like I said you don't have to you could paint it just in one color okay so that's my black done and I'm gonna move on to the next color and I'm gonna go ahead and do the white because it's another small area. So hold on a second, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I broke my paintbrush, but I'm still gonna use it because I gotta paint. And I got a small area, so I don't wanna use a bigger paintbrush. So we're gonna go from there. So first thing I'm gonna do is the glue again. And just paint. Then 
the area where I'm going to be painting painting the glue on the area where I'm going to be doing the white. And I'm going to let it dry a little bit more because I don't think I did it right. But like I said, every area does not have to be cracking. But we'll see as it completely dries how it looks. And I'm just going to do the white across it. As fast as I can. And if you don't get complete coverage, that is fine. It just helps it look more like it's cracking. But I'm going to try to get as much covered as I can. And there's the white paint. And then we'll move on to the next. Seeing how the body of the truck is such a big area, I'm gonna split it in two parts and I'm gonna do the back first. And then I will do the front. Just to make it easier. Because otherwise it'll dry up before you even get the paint on there and we don't want that So we're going to give it a minute and then we'll start painting. And this is just such a cool, you don't even have to do this for this project. You could just do this and make a little sign or something. It's such a cool project and if you do it right, it comes out looking good. And so we'll see how it comes out. We'll get a little drier. I'm going to start painting. And you want to try to get as even of a layer as you can. I'm not perfect at this. So, we'll see how it works. Okay. So that side's done. Now I'm going to do this side. Like I said, it does dry pretty fast.
and I might break it down even further and just stop at this part because this is a lot of area and then just do the roof last you know Let that dry a little bit. We're gonna move on to the last part and go from there. And like I said, we're going to have to let this completely 100% dry before we know for sure how it come out looking. Alright. So we'll just lead up B and then come back to it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start cutting some of these that I wanna use for this particular um, reef. So, just gonna cut some pieces and I'm cutting them because I wanna make sure there's room to do the to tie them down because I use um, zip ties on reefs because I just feel it makes it so much easier to deal with and if you don't end up using all of it it's not a big deal if you've cut it because you can always find something else to use it on okay so don't feel like the world's gonna end because you cut it and didn't use it it's not really a huge deal. You just put them up and come back to them later. And I did not mean to do that. Give me a second, y'all. I pulled it off. And like I said, I don't want to pull them off because I want the, to have the stuff to tie it down with. And if you're worried that the floral is going to just come pop off, you can easily, easily glue it to the stem that you're cutting so it doesn't come off. And then I want this. Alright, so all my stuff is cut. Now I'm going to arrange it how I want it to look on how I'm doing it and then we'll go from there. So. Is 
it doesn't really matter. The whole point is just to make it look good. How you like it good. Um. See, I like that. And I think that's how I'm going to go with it. So. That came from. Hopefully, it didn't come off the ones I'm using, but it's fine. So, I'm going to take once I figure out how I want it to work, I'm going to take my zip tie and I'm going to zip tie it. Sorry, hold on. To the sorry it moved on me y'all I'm gonna zip tie it to the uh reframe I can think it literally moved on me y'all And this is really just a preference for what you like when you do this. So just remember that when you're doing it. So I'm going to take and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Not going to look exactly the same because I put something a little different. And this time, I want to change the red and the yellow. It's going to look like it's on the same side, but when you put it down, they're going to be on opposite sides because of which way you're going with it. So, y'all, I left this out. I'm not even going to lie. Completely forgot about it. So, we're just going to leave it out because I forgot about it. And I want them to look alike. You don't have to. This is totally what you feel. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to zip tie again. Now, what I'm going to do just to make sure it stays is I tend to zip tie the top up a little just to make sure it stays where I want it to be. So we're also gonna do that. But give me a second because I wanna to zip to one more spot down here. If I can get it, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. If I can get it. So now, like I said, I like to zip tie the pieces that are going to hang down up just to make them stay. So, somewhere in the middle of this, you're going to add another zip tie. And try to make sure you don't actually get it on any of those things so that they stay popped out like they should. Like there. Um, there we go. And then you just zip tie again. And you're going to do that on both sides so it stays where it's supposed to be. And yep, I didn't use those so, you know, I'm not taking it apart. It'll be fine. It doesn't have to have the pieces I put. Like I said, if you don't end up not using it, it's not... A huge deal. Get this where I can see it, y'all. It's a little hard. There we go. Now I can see it. Let me 
see if I can put this there. Yes, I have. Y'all give me a second. I missed the frame. Now that you have them zip tied down, you're gonna get a, you're gonna want to go and cut the tails off the zip ties. And there's, I, I did four of them, so you might have done four also. And try to make sure you don't cut the actual flowers. Alright, so. Now, I did not put this in the plants, but I think I might add a bow here to cover that part up. So, we're going to see about that. Now, I'm going to take one of these pre-made bows because I think they're really cute and I think they'll really work with what I'm doing. If I can get it undone, anyways. And then I'm just going to attach it to right here. And I'll probably add some glue just to make sure it stays because I like to make sure what I put stays. And that's going to be the bottom of the reef. Oops, sorry, I shook the thing, sorry. But that's going to be the bottom of the reef. Let me put it up so you can see. And I think it's going to look really good. Okay, so the truck is dry. So the truck is dry. I don't know if it came out exactly how I wanted it to. I see some spots. But it's fine. It looks good. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to take my thankful and I'm going to unscrew it from... The board is on because we don't need the board. And I'll put this to the side. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to make sure I put glue in spots to help hold it down and then I'm going to screw the screws back in so that is the next step. While I'm waiting for my glue to heat up, I did want to give y'all a better look at the truck. As you can see, it is cracking a little bit in spots and the paint, the dark paint is coming through in the red also in spots. So it did kind of work. It's not exactly what I was thinking, but it's fine. I'm happy with it. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this down in spots. Just to help hold it in place, I'll clean up any of the glue that just decides it wants to stay seen. Alright, and then we will go from there. Alright, so we're going to put the T down. And now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the screws and screw them back in. You shouldn't need to drill a hole because it's not even really wood, like particle board. And I just want to do this to help hold it more. If I can get it in there. I say that and then I can't get it in there, y'all. That's funny. Alright, there it goes. This just helps it hold it down more. The screw was longer than I thought it was. It comes out a little bit out of the back, but that's fine because you're going to be, um, it's going on a reef, so. I'm going to add glue to the back though to cap it so that no one gets hurt. That's what you can do if you end up doing something and it's too 
long. So don't think you can't fix it. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more glue, maybe. Nope, yeah, probably like right here where like where the A is and stuff, just to help it hold down some more. Cause I really don't want it coming off. All right, so. All right. All right. So that is the truck that I'm now gonna add to the reef. And I think it's really cute. I like how it came out, y'all. This was just something I thought I'd try. I wasn't even sure I was gonna do it this way originally. I knew I was gonna do thank you. I mean, thankful. And I knew I was gonna do truck, but I did not know I was gonna do it like that. So, I'm thinking like this in the middle. So you're gonna wanna add zip ties because like I said you always want to hold it in place so we're gonna do that now now I forgot something important Hold on, y'all. I forgot something important. So, if you looked on social media or the community tab, you'll have seen these listed as items to get to, and I forgot about them. So, what I'm going to do is I want to add them to this, like, the truck is carrying the pumpkins. So, I don't know. How y'all feel about this, but I just thought this would be a really cool idea. So that's what we're doing. All right, so let's get back to Tightening this down. No, that didn't work. I'm gonna have to cut that and do a different one because I'm not trying to get it where you see these big things as much. So let's try again. And then, let's see, I would really prefer where it's not here, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to make it steady, and you can camouflage it with other stuff, so it's not a huge deal. So I'm gonna put one over here just to, actually that's pretty stable so I'm gonna do that I don't like how this is showing and then we'll move on to the next step did all that and I'm gonna camouflage it as with some more stuff hold on all right to make this work I'm gonna take some maple flowers I mean leaves not flowers I'm sorry I know what I'm talking about and I'm gonna glue them together like that and then I'm gonna cover the wheel not the whole wheel but where I um, Zip tied, just because I really don't want any problems. 
I, I want it to look nice, you know? So I'm gonna do like that. And then... That. To cover the one on the truck. And I think it's gonna come out looking really good. All right, so. I've already glued so and I'll probably zip tie too just to make sure it stays if I can just depends on how it is but I'm just gonna glue it to the truck wheel just to help and then I'm gonna glue this and zip tie it because this one I can zip tie so. and it'll be hidden because it'll be in the back oops the glue didn't work hold on y'all not even gonna lie I think I need to zip tie it first I get ahead of myself at times and then realize that was stupid <laughs> no lie tie it here just like this let me get some of this glue off my fingers off yeah that'll be fine I'm gonna zip tie that there and then we're gonna We'll glue the leaf over it. How about that? That should work better. And I'm going to glue it in two spots just to help hold it. And there we go. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Myself. It's that simple. You'll clean up the little glue spots and everything, but it's that simple to make an awesome um, farmhouse fall wreath. I think it came out gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I know she's going to love it, but I'm going to show you the whole thing, okay? So bear with me. All right, so thankful, the ribbon and the leaves, and then the leaves and the little floral husk thingy. I don't know that's covering up that zip tie. So that is literally it for this project. I absolutely love how it came out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I will see y'all next time. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I want to thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on my videos because it does help my channel go. And I really grow, sorry, and I really appreciate it. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.